Welcome to the Pregistry Channel. My name is Allison, and today I'm going to talk about end call births. An end call birth occurs when the mother's water doesn't break during childbirth. In the uterus, the fetus grows safely inside of a bag of fluid called the amniotic sac. At some point during the birthing process, the membranes of the amniotic sac usually break, causing a rush of clear, pale fluid. This is known as the water breaking. If the water does not break, the baby will be born inside of the amniotic sac, which is known as an end call birth. Babies are also sometimes born with just a piece of the amniotic sac, or call, still attached to the skin. This leftover membrane can be very easily removed by a doctor or midwife and will not harm the baby. End call births are very rare, which might explain why they're associated with many myths and superstitions. Long ago, people thought that babies born end call were incapable of drowning. The belief was so strong that sailors carried a piece of call with them to protect against drowning. It was also believed that babies born end call were born with good luck. It was believed that they were destined for greatness and could protect society from evil forces. Midwives used to preserve the call by pressing the membrane into a piece of paper, then giving it to the mother to keep as an heirloom. Although end call births are an unusual occurrence, they're not dangerous. An end call birth is not harmful to the mother or the baby. If your baby is born end call, he or she will have that in common with Charlemagne, Napoleon, and Sigmund Freud. Thank you for watching. Find out more about end call births at pregistry.com.